Have you ever wondered why some life lessons seem to arrive too late? This, my friends, is the unavoidable question that often lingers in the back of our minds. In this vast and complex journey we call life, it's often the case that wisdom finds us when we've already stumbled, fallen, and bruised our knees. Now imagine, if you will, a philosophy that arms us with these lessons before we encounter the hurdles. This is where the Stoic philosophy comes into play. Stoicism, an ancient school of thought, teaches us not just to survive life's storms, but to thrive amidst them. Sadly, many of us only stumble upon these Stoic lessons when we've already been knocked down by life's harsh realities. We find ourselves wishing we had learnt these lessons sooner, perhaps avoiding a few of life's hard knocks. But what if we could learn these lessons in advance? Let's explore. One of the cornerstones of Stoicism lies in understanding what we can control. This principle is not just about the physical realm, but it extends into our thoughts, feelings and reactions. Let's take a journey. Imagine a man in a storm. The winds howl, the rain lashes, and all around him is chaos. He can't control the storm, but he can control how he reacts to it. He can choose to panic, or he can choose to stay calm, to think rationally, and to act decisively. This, in essence, is the Stoic's path. It's about recognizing the storm for what it is, but refusing to let it dictate your actions or your emotions. It's about understanding that while you can't control the world around you, you can control your response to it. You can control your thoughts, your feelings, your actions. So the first lesson is, focus on what you can control. Let go of what you can't. How we perceive our circumstances often dictates our response to them. The Stoic lesson here is about maintaining a balanced perspective, regardless of what life throws at us. Picture a man standing in the rain. Some might see him as unfortunate, caught in a downpour with no shelter in sight. But what if he sees the rain as a blessing, a refreshing respite from the scorching sun? It's the same rain, the same man, but two vastly different perspectives. Perspective, it's like a lens through which we view the world. It can colour our experiences, shape our decisions and ultimately drive our actions. It can turn a challenge into an opportunity, a setback into a learning experience. It's the difference between feeling defeated by the storm and dancing in the rain. Remember, storms are a part of life, but whether they break us or make us stronger is largely a matter of perspective. The second lesson is, your perspective is a powerful tool. Use it wisely. Acceptance, a virtue often overlooked, holds immense power. It's the Stoic's key to serenity, the quiet understanding that not all things are within our control. Picture a man, let's call him John. John spent years battling the inevitable, fighting against the tide of life, only to find himself exhausted and defeated. The more he resisted, the more life seemed to push back. Now imagine if John had learned the virtue of acceptance earlier. Instead of exhausting his energy against the immovable, he could have used that energy to navigate around it to find new paths, to create new opportunities. Acceptance is not about resigning to fate, it's about understanding the landscape of life and choosing to invest energy where it truly matters. So remember, like a river flowing around a boulder, acceptance allows us to move forward unimpeded. The third lesson is, acceptance is not defeat, it's the first step towards overcoming. Time, our most valuable asset, yet often wasted. Picture an hourglass, each grain of sand representing a precious moment slipping away. In the grand theatre of life, time is the unchanging stage on which our lives unfurl. Stoics understood this well. They saw time not as a limitless resource, but a finite gift to be used wisely. Imagine a man, let's call him John. John is always chasing the future, always planning, always preparing. But in his pursuit, he misses the beauty of the present. He fails to savour the joy of now, the richness of each passing moment. In contrast, consider another man, we'll name him Marcus. Marcus lives each day as if it were his last. He savours each moment, each interaction, each breath. He understands that time, once passed, is irretrievable. This is the Stoic lesson. Time is precious. It's not to be squandered, but treasured. The fourth lesson is value your time. It's the one thing you can't get back. Gratitude, a simple act that can shift our entire mindset. Stoics teach us that the cultivation of gratitude is a profound practice. Picture a man, weather-beaten by life's storms, destitute and downtrodden. 
Now imagine if this man, amid his struggles, finds a moment to pause and give thanks for the breath in his lungs, for the sun that rises each day, for the chance to experience another moment of this grand play called life. This simple act of gratitude changes his perspective. It's a spark that ignites a flame of contentment in his heart, a flame that can endure the harshest winds of adversity. It's this flame that Stoics encourage us to keep alive within ourselves. They teach us that gratitude is not just about saying thank you. It's about truly seeing and appreciating the beauty and value in everything around us, even in our challenges. The fifth lesson is Cultivate gratitude. It's the key to contentment. Silence, an underrated skill, yet a source of immense wisdom. Picture this. You're in a room filled with chatter, a cacophony of opinions, ideas and noise. But amidst this clamour, you choose a different path. The path of silence. The Stoics saw silence not as an absence of sound, but as a vessel of wisdom, a space where understanding could flourish. Imagine you're a sponge, soaking up the world around you. The more you absorb, the more enriched you become. Stoics championed this, urging us to listen more than we speak, to observe more than we showcase. In doing so, they believed we could glean insights that others may miss in their haste to be heard. In the grand theatre of life, silence is a powerful tool. It allows us to learn, to grow, to reflect. It affords us the opportunity to truly connect with our surroundings, to understand others and ultimately ourselves. The sixth lesson is embrace silence. It's where wisdom lies. Humility, often mistaken for weakness, is the hallmark of the brave. The Stoic philosophers understood that true courage lies not in grandstanding or boasting, but in the quiet strength of humility. It's the ability to accept our limitations, to acknowledge we don't have all the answers. Imagine a ship's captain in the heart of a storm. He doesn't claim to control the winds, he merely steers his vessel, navigating through the tempest with respect for the power of nature. His humility is his strength, allowing him to make clear-headed decisions amidst the chaos. In the same way, we're all captains of our own lives, navigating the storms that come our way. The Stoic lesson here is to cultivate humility, to recognize we're not masters of the universe, but mere participants in the grand tapestry of life. It's not about diminishing ourselves, but about understanding our place in the world. The seventh lesson is, humility isn't a weakness, it's a strength. Resilience, the ability to bounce back, is the backbone of Stoicism. Imagine resilience as the mighty oak tree, firmly rooted in the ground, bending and swaying with the storm but never breaking. It knows that the storm is not a permanent state, it's merely a passing phase. Our lives are much like that. We encounter storms, challenges that test our mettle, but we must remember to bend, not break. Stoics understood this. They knew that life was not a calm sea, but a tempestuous ocean, and it's within this ocean, amidst the churning waves and powerful currents, that we find our strength. Resilience, you see, is not about avoiding the storm, but learning to navigate through it. It's about understanding that the storm will pass, and when it does, we'll be stronger, wiser, better. So, the next time you find yourself in the eye of a storm, remember the Stoics. The eighth lesson is, resilience isn't optional, it's necessary. The present moment, often overlooked, is all we truly have. Stoics teach us the profound power of now. It's easy to get entangled in the web of yesterday's regrets or tomorrow's worries. But in Stoicism, we learn a simple yet fundamental truth. The past is a ghost the future, a dream. All we can touch, feel and truly experience is the present moment. Consider a ship adrift at sea. It doesn't worry about where it's been, nor does it fret about where it's going. It simply floats, embracing the here and now, being one with the ocean. That's the essence of Stoicism. It's about surrendering to the present, appreciating the now. It's about understanding that life is a series of present moments, strung together like pearls on a string. So take a deep breath, feel the air filling your lungs, hear the world around you, this is your moment. The ninth lesson is, live in the present, it's all you truly have. Self-improvement, a lifelong journey, is the ultimate goal of Stoicism. 
It's the great pursuit that demands our attention, our energy and our commitment. The Stoics understood this well. They knew that we are all works in progress, never complete, always evolving. Imagine yourself as a sculptor, your life a block of marble. Every day you chip away a little more, revealing the masterpiece within. Some days the chisel may slip, leaving unintended marks. But these are not mistakes, merely part of the unique pattern that makes you, you. The Stoics teach us to embrace these imperfections, these signs of growth and change. They are not flaws to be eradicated, but signs of progress to be celebrated. Remember, the path of self-improvement is not a straight line. It bends, it twists, it loops back on itself. But every step, no matter how small, brings you closer to the person you aspire to be. The tenth and final lesson is, self-improvement is a journey, not a destination. These lessons, though simple, carry immense power. They remind us of the Stoic's path, a journey of acceptance, humility and resilience. It's about understanding that our perspective shapes our reality, that our silence can be our greatest wisdom, and that our humility is our true courage. These lessons teach us to value the time we have, to live in the now and not in the past or future. They show us the essence of gratitude, encouraging us to appreciate every moment, every victory, every setback. It's about understanding that life is a constant journey of self-improvement, a journey where every step brings us closer to wisdom. And while these lessons may seem complex, they are in fact quite simple. They are about accepting life as it is, not as we wish it to be. They are about understanding that the only constant in life is change. May these lessons serve as a guide on your path to wisdom and self-improvement.